champions of 2022-2023 are Tottenham. All three promoted teams will get relegated at nines, guys. We have Newcastle United. What's up, guys? We are going to do 2022-2023 early, too early. Premier League predictions. Let's get it. Okay, guys. At twins, we have Nottingham Forest. I know, guys. Don't get offended. This is just early, way early predictions. So, very me. They have been great after changing their coach and shut up the table. But at this moment, twenty years, guys. This will be updated. So, at nineteens, we have. Bournemouth. Players which were relegated with their team the last time that they were in Premier League are back. Players like Billing, Solanke will be important for their survival. Bournemouth are exciting team to watch, but at this moment, 19s. At 18s we have Fulham. I know they have great players and they have been great last season, winning the league, the championship and of course playing magnificent football but I think it will be hard for them again coming back this around this time around and keeping their players will be vital players like Mitrovic who scored 43 goals last season need to perform for them to survive and it will be vital for them to keep fighting but at this moment 18 for me and there you have it all three Promoted teams will get relegated. You heard it first here. At 17, guys, we have Leeds United, and they will be fighting for relegation this time around again. And keeping players like Rafinha is very, very important. But Jesse Marsh has been doing a great job, and I think signing new players will be vital for them. At 16, we have Everton. Again, Everton will be fighting for relegation this time around and Frank Lampard's team need to keep players like Richardson who is seeking to a transfer and of course they will do like they always do signing a lot of players for them to get out of this relegation battle but we will see At 15 we have Southampton Southampton have been strong last years, but they are relying heavily on some players for their survival, like Ward Prowse and Broja last season particularly. So they need to change that and keeping their coach will be important. Some people are saying Southampton will be relegated in the season, so we will see on that update. Let's move on to 14s. We have Brighton of Albion. And of course, they have been last season, they were in ups and downs. And of course, Brighton are exciting team with their coach, Graham Potter, very important coach. And keeping him will be vital for them. But if Graham Potter is out and they don't sign players, I think they will be in a relegation battle. At certain, we have Brentford. Brentford have been exciting last season. Their coach Thomas Frank has been nominated for Coach of the Year, of course. And keeping players like Ericsson and Ivan Tony will be vital for them. But and like Southampton, they might be fighting for relegation if they don't keep players, so we'll watch out for that. At 12, we have Aston Villa. Aston Villa have players like Continuo and Watkins who are exciting and they have solid, solid defense at the back and Gerard's team will have exciting season because they are signing new players, exciting prospects. And of course, this will be fantastic. For their team and I think they will have very very exciting season this is at 11th we have Crystal Palace this might be controversial guys but 
particularly have been doing a great job for Aston Villa, for Christophers rather, and of course players like Daha, Mateta, you know, Olise and Ebrichi Eze, if they can keep them, you know, out of injuries, they will be, I think they will have a great season. Tens and up, up the table, we have Wolves. Bruno Lai's team are always solid, of course. They have very, very great and dependable players at midfield and at the back. And they have been signing players last season under the radar. So this season, I think they will come out and perform for them. At nines, guys, we have Newcastle United. I know this might be Newcastle United fans. I'm sorry, but at this moment, I think I don't see them above at this point. It will depend on their signings, which players they sign. If they can sign great players, I think they will go up to the table and even fight for Champions League spots. So, we'll see about that. Okay guys, at Ace we have Leicester City. Their position might change according to their transfer window. Keeping Telemans and Madison is vital for them. And players like Vardy and Schmeichel are aging, so replacing them uh, is important if they are gonna keep their position as eights. And at sevens we have Arsenal. The thing is, sometimes they can be great and sometimes flop, but if they can keep their players away from injuries and keep them fit, and also sign players at midfield and at the back, they will have a great season. And at six, West Ham United. So I know, let's talk about six, baby. Let's talk about <laughs> you and me. Let's... David Moyes has been doing a great job, keeping their standards high and players like Bowen and Socek can play at any top four team of course and they have players like Rice and Dawson so if they can keep Rice and sign a replacement to Mark Noble and sign attacking players I think they rely heavily on Antonio so I think signing attack player is important for them and at fifth we have Manchester United this might get some eyebrows raised but Ten Hag and his team in his first season will do a modest job if they sort out their dressing room problems and players who are seeking to go out like Pogba need to be replaced a lot of work to be done so we will see how the summer fares for Manchester United and Ten Hag at fourth we have Chelsea Thomas Tuchel needs to replace Rudiger and reinforce at the back and sign players to replace Kante because every time he's injured they suffer so if they can keep their players fit they might even win the league I think guys at third we have Liverpool Klopp and his team are marching to the history books every season and they break records and they are great of course if they can keep Mane and Salah, that will be a great help for them and sign new players. But at this moment, I think third for them. Second, we have Manchester City. I know people are like, Dave, what are you doing? They signed Haaland, I know, but they will have, I know, they will have a great season and they will need to refresh their midfield, of course. We will see how. They will sign new players and I think this will be a bit so it's okay guys. But first a champions of 2022-2023 are Tottenham. I think Anton Conte will get his hands on Premier League trophy once again and take Tottenham all the way this season if they reinforce at the back and keep son my son calls him sonaldo sonaldo boot and kane they will win the league that's it guys there you have it what do you think i know right weird season <laughs> but thanks for watching
and i will see you on the next video